Now here's a real classic for you. A Colt Single Action Frontier Scout 22 Long Rifle. Now these little guns are just a whole lot of fun to shoot. I believe Colt started making these in the late 50s and they made them up through uh, I think uh, to the early uh, around 1970. I'm not sure just exactly what year they stopped making them. Might have been a little earlier than that. But these are basically just a miniature single action army. And like any single action army, uh, right here is where you'll find the serial number on them. Got the Colt plastic grips. Some of them had wood grips. Some had uh, rubber grips, I believe. Let's see if we can get the markings to show up here. Got the little Colt pony here. And unlike uh, most of them, it's got this one's got a circle around your pony, <laughs> and it operates just exactly like a full-size single-action army. Unlike a, a Ruger, you can't just open the loading gate and uh, turn the cylinder. You have to put it on half cock. Twenty-two long rifle. These were also made in twenty-two magnum. And I believe some of them had interchangeable cylinders for both come with them. This one didn't. And it's got a nice trigger on it. And like I said, essentially just a miniature single action army. The take down on it uh, to remove the cylinder is just like a a single action army. You would uh, on on well on this one here you would remove this screw. Some of them had a push button on there but uh, this one you have to loosen that screw to pull the cylinder pin out. And they always said you could tell uh, Colt by uh, it spelled its own name by the four clicks they spelled Colt. Two, three, and four. And like any rimfire, you shouldn't dry fire them. But these guns are just a lot of fun. And they're getting harder to come by. And this one here is not uh, a mint condition one. It's got some holster wear. Matter of fact, I've carried this one a fair amount in a holster. I've had this gun for a lot of years. They are just a nice little gun. They're not very heavy. It's one thing that is different between them and the full-size single-action army. The the frame isn't steel on these; they're alloy. Later on, when they switched over to what they called the Peacemaker 22, it had a color case hardened steel frame. This still got most of the nice old Colt blue on it. It's been well taken care of over the years. Just honest wear. And these are really good little shooters. If anybody's uh, familiar with a uh, Ruger single six, this here is probably ab about the same weight. The Ruger is probably a little heavier, but they're about the same size. And matter of fact, I believe I'm not sure uh, that they were they were intended to compete with the with the Ruger uh, single six but I'm not sure which came first whether it was the Scout or the single six that uh, that came along first but anyway the other one was intended to compete with whichever one was first and these were made in a lot of different configurations not just uh, 22 and 22 you know 22 Magnum but they were made in different barrel lengths 
and they were also made in uh, nickel finish as well as uh, blue and there were also um, some of these that uh, left the uh, the frame just uh, basically bare aluminum and those are kind of rare I think I don't believe I've ever seen but one of those outside of pictures that was like that and at the time that I saw it I thought that somebody had stripped the finish off of it but there were some that were actually made that way for, at the factory and these uh, grips are plastic on this one a little cold on the grip uh, like I said some of them were hard rubber and some were uh, they, some of them had nice wood grips on them but it's a very well machined gun you don't really see that kind of quality in 22's very much these days just uh, beautiful workmanship on this one. I, this one here I believe was made in 1959 and just uh, generally it's just a classic little Colt I just thought I'd give you a good look at it here I've been uh, doing a little cleaning on the guns thought I'd give you a, do a little video with this one before I put it away and I wanted, uh, at the end of the video, I want to do a shout out for someone. And this one is for uh, Sergio 45 ACP. And he's got some good videos on his uh, channel. It's not, not a big channel, but uh, he's got some good stuff. It's worth checking out. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. And thanks for watching.